you could be kicked off a cruise ship if you break some of the major rules. We'll talk about them up next. Hey everyone, it's Matt from RollerCaribbeanBlog.com. Cruise ships have rules and breaking them can result in serious consequences. To be honest, it's rare that you'll encounter a scenario that gets you in trouble with the policy, but you might be curious to know what you can and cannot do on board. Royal Caribbean takes the safety of everybody on its ship seriously, including crew members. So it is important to understand how you need to conduct yourselves. While everyone can make a mistake, there are consequences to actions. And if the cruise ship determines you're a troublemaker, you could find your cruise coming to an end. If you were to be kicked off a cruise ship, that would mean they would leave you at the next port of call and you've got to figure out how to get home. And by the way, no refunds for any part of the cruise that you missed. Whether obvious or not, I wanted to go over some of the things you should know about what you can and cannot do on a cruise ship. Now, these rules, by the way, are not just made up or secretly hidden somewhere. They're all in the guest conduct policy. Every cruise line has a code of conduct that's outlined in the cruise contract that every passenger agrees to when you book a cruise. The cruise contract outlines what you can and cannot do on board, as well as the consequences. It also covers billing issues such as canceling a cruise and refund options. The ship's captain and security team can make an assessment if you're in violation of these rules. Consequences vary, but being escorted off the ship is one possibility. Anyone that is removed from the ship is not entitled to any kind of refund or compensation for the lost time. It's just like Gene Wilder said in Willy Wonka, you get nothing, you lose. Good day, sir. Now, if you're saying, well, I didn't see any cruise contract. Well, you did when you booked your cruise, whether or not you chose to read it or not is a different issue. When booking a cruise on a Royal Caribbean's website, it's one of the required selections to make when you're booking a cruise. A travel agent will also make you aware of them when you're booking a cruise through that method. There's a lot more to the cruise contract than the rules about getting kicked off a cruise ship. There's information about what happens regarding itinerary changes, billing discrepancies, and a lot more. It's pretty boring, but it's actually a pretty good idea to read through the contract to understand what you're agreeing to when you sail on a cruise. As an example, did you know that in the cruise contract it says, they don't have to bring you to any of the ports that you were advertised. When you book the cruise, they get changed out the ship, places you go. It's kind of interesting when you think about it, but that's the discussion for another day. So let's talk about things that'll get you kicked off the cruise ship. In reading through the contract for at least US guests, there are different policies for different countries out there. There's a few notable situations that could get you taken off the ship. Keeping in mind, by the way, that it's really at the discretion of the captain and the cruise line how to handle it. Some of it is a little ambiguous on purpose. Number one, drugs. Among the list of prohibited items you're not allowed to bring on a cruise ship are illegal drugs, and that can get you in serious trouble. Quote, passengers who bring on boards to dangerous items, marijuana in any form, or any illegal drugs or controlled substances are also subject to immediate disembarkation or denial of boarding, end quote. Just because you're legally allowed to have what would otherwise be illegal drugs like medical marijuana where you live does not mean you are allowed to bring them on a cruise ship. Cruise ships adhere to the laws of the countries that they're visiting, and that supersedes local laws from where you're from. Number two, dangerous behavior. Whether fighting with other cruisers, deliberately entering restricted areas of cruise ships, or damaging cruise ship property and violating the serious safety rules, you can get kicked off the ship for those reasons. Royal Caribbean's policy covers pretty much anything that a guest does that is perceived to be dangerous. The policy allows the line to confine people to their cabin or even take them off the ship. Quote, when in the sole opinion of the carrier, that's the cruise line, or the captain of the passenger's conduct or presence, or that any minor for whom the passenger is responsible is believed to present a possible danger, security risk, or be detrimental to himself or to the health, welfare, comfort, or enjoyment of others. Now, if this sounds vague, it's because Royal Caribbean can't anticipate every possible scenario that could play out. So it gives the ship a little bit of leeway in being able to determine who is a danger. Engaging in a physical altercation, bothering fellow passengers on the pool deck, or assaulting a crew member may lead to being confined in the ship's holding area, commonly known as the brig or even cruise ship jail. Yeah, cruise ships do have jails in there. Additionally, such behavior could result in fines, forced disembarkation, or even a ban from the cruise line. The next thing that can get you kicked off a cruise ship is their health policies. While all the cruise lines have rolled back nearly every single COVID-19 policy that was put in place back in 2021 or 2022, the cruise contract still has verbiage in there in case onboard rules need to be altered or amended. Much of this policy is about what the cruise ship is allowed to do in terms of mitigating the spread on board and escorting a guest off the ship to stem the spread of the virus. And that is an option there. Quote, passengers understand that the carrier's COVID-19 policies and procedures may or will include, but not limited to, confinement of passengers to their cabins, 
quarantine or emergency disembarkation of passenger if, in the carrier's sole discretion, such steps are necessary to prevent or slow the spread of COVID-19. Now, to be clear, a lot of the issues and threats of COVID-19 here in 2023 are not nearly as prevalent as they were in the past, but the rules are still on the books here. You should be aware of that. And speaking of being kicked off the cruise ship, crew members can actually be kicked off the ship too. It's not just passengers that have rules about being kicked off because crew members can be removed from a ship as well. Crew members are not allowed to fraternize with guests or invite them into the crew quarters. It's one of the best known strict rules for crew members and it prevents them from engaging in any romantic activities with passengers. The reason this rule exists is because someone is employed on the cruise ship, they essentially represent the cruise line itself. If a crew member is removed from the ship, they will very likely lose their job as well. Crew members must adhere to other aspects of the code of conduct, which includes rules against vandalism, illegal drugs, attendance, and more. So the bottom line is, in terms of getting kicked off a cruise ship, it's unlikely you'll ever be escorted off a cruise ship for breaking these sort of rules, but it's really important to be aware of what is expected of you when you book a cruise, because at the end of the day, ignorance is never an excuse, and that holds true on cruise ships as well. As long as you don't start a fight, follow instructions given by crew members, and don't act in an inappropriate way, you'll probably be fine. In all my years of cruising on Royal Caribbean, situations like this that I outline here in this video have rarely occurred where I've been close enough to become aware of them, but they do occasionally occur. Just like in your hometown, there's always gonna be somebody who stirs the pot and there are recourses for a cruise ship for bad behavior. So as they say, don't be that guy and you'll have a great vacation. Let me know in the comments below, were there any surprises about these rules that could lead to you getting kicked off a cruise ship? And have you ever been on a cruise ship in which someone has been kicked off the ship? Let me know what happened over there. I'm interested in those stories as well. While you're down below our video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications that way YouTube wants you know we have a brand new video to share. This has been Matt from realcaribbeanblog.com, and we'll talk again real soon.